What's up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how you can restore an old rusty handsaw with a bit of sanding, polishing and replacing an old broken handle with a 3D printed one. Ok so let's get started. As you can see my saw was in pretty bad condition due to a long term exposure in a very humid areas. Furthermore the handle was broken so we need to replace that with a 3D printed one. I firstly remove 3 screws that were holding the handle in place and after that I measure it and started modeling a new one in a SOLIDWORKS. A great trick when modeling a copy of any part is to take a picture of most detailed surface and trace the edges of a model in the picture so we can extrude it to a needed height. I also applied a few chamfers and made 3 holes for the screws. Moreover, a 1mm groove was cut in the middle of the handle so we can fit in the saw blade. After that, I just slice it and print it with my printer. The estimated print time was around 3 hours, so in the meantime let's clean and polish our saw blade. Firstly, I tried removing the rust with 1200 grit sandpaper, that did the job perfectly. But there was still an unusual oxide layer on the saw blade, so I tried using a Dremel, but there was not much difference, so the last idea that popped into my mind was to use a vibrating sanding machine. It removed most of the oxide layer, so we can finally polish it for a nicer look. I should have used a sandpaper to remove more deep scratches, but I was ok even though the finish was not 100% perfect. So when the handle was printed, I cleaned the support material and installed the handle back to the saw blade. And there we have it. I'm really happy with the results, the saw looks pretty aesthetic, but the only thing I would change is the thickness of the handle where you hold it. It's a bit too thin for my hand, but if you put a hard foam around it, it should be ok. Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, like, share and leave some comments and ideas about new projects, so I would know what you guys think I should do in the near future. Also, if you're interested in my other videos, you can click on a few of them here or through visiting my channel.